If you're thinking about buying some riding glasses, and why wouldn't you? You only get one pair of eyes, so protection is important, then you are in luck. With the help of Oakley, who are sponsoring this video, I'm gonna talk you through the various different types of mountain bike eyewear and the different features to look for when making that purchase. Of course, Oakley is just one of many other brands out there, but when making this purchase, I would definitely consider cycling or even mountain bike specific glasses for the job. So just like when you're buying a bike, there's some of the same considerations come into account, like the type of riding you do, the conditions you ride in, that will influence your riding gear and your glasses. Downhill or trail riding, Southern California or Yorkshire, picking the right glasses, or should I say eyewear, because actually I'm gonna talk about goggles as well, it's gonna make a big difference to how useful you find them. The great thing with most glasses, you will be able to change the lenses out to make a certain piece of eyewear really versatile and usable in different riding situations. Before I get into the nitty gritty, why is it a good idea to ride with eyewear? Eye protection from debris, from the sun and its harmful UV rays, flying bugs, eye watering winds at speed. Does that look fast, yeah? And they even give you some protection when crashing, but I don't crash. <laughs> right, let's start with the different types of riding glasses and the size of them. So bigger isn't always better. We've got three different size glasses here from Oakley. So these are the uh, flight jacket, the largest. Compare that to the jawbreaker, get it slightly smaller. You see the coverage definitely changes. And then down to these uh, radar EVs, definitely a bit more slimline. Different size glasses will give you obviously different amounts of protection from things like debris and the wind. But you also need to think about compatibility with helmets. So I don't consider myself a style icon, but if I'm wearing a full face helmet, then I'm likely to be wearing goggles because I'll be riding uh, downhill enduro or hitting some big jumps and goggles just offer the best protection from the elements, from debris, but also a bit from crashing. Some people do choose to run glasses with full face helmets, which some consider to be a fashion no-no in mountain biking. But if it's hot, it probably does make sense because the ventilation is much, much better than with goggles. Getting glasses that are sort of compatible with your helmet is gonna help as well. So the frames and the arms of the glasses, making sure they don't touch the helmet or are getting pushed inside your head because that can be uncomfortable. Uh, so that's the sort of size of the frames will influence that, but also some uh, glasses will have adjustable arms to make sure you get the perfect fit. Does the top of your glasses touch the brow of your helmet? I know some people have helmets that sit a little bit lower, and if that touch with your helmet moved around, that would become super annoying. So these don't, so I can choose a larger set of glasses like these flight jackets. If you do get any sort of interference with your glasses and helmet, then you may want to go for some more modestly sized frames. Also, on looks, maybe if you've got a slim face, you might want the smaller ones as well. The big ones might look a bit extreme, and might be the look you're going for. What about the glasses arm under or over the helmet strap? Well, you may know that uh, roadie rule, it's an unwritten rule, that they have to run their glasses over the top. I don't think us mountain bikers have to, and actually these fit much more comfortably with the arms underneath the strap. Bigger glasses, more protection, but that does make a difference to sort of the wind that rushes underneath them as well. So the bigger glasses will help with that. I find that happens probably more on a road bike, to be honest. I think the average speeds are just that bit higher. It doesn't happen quite so much on a mountain bike, but I'm sure plenty of you watching this will ride road bikes and mountain bikes. So you might want to consider buying one pair of glasses. You can do both things in. And obviously as well, you can swap out different lenses that will be better for each different discipline. Right, let's get into the lenses. So these are tinted lenses, uh, obviously better for the sunny conditions, gonna take some of that glare off. Got a bit of a sunny day here in England today. Um, but also don't forget importantly, UV protection as well. So keep your eyes nice and safe from the sun. These are in fact Oakley's Prism Trail Torch lenses on these glasses now. So you may have heard of this Prism technology that Oakley have. So Oakley have designed this to filter out the different wavelengths of light. 
basically give you a really vivid and vibrant view of the trail. So you see better contrast between things like roots and rocks and the trail surface. So we have prism lenses designed for golfing, we've got road ones. These are trail, so designed for mountain biking and actually the torch version of those. got the two different versions of the mountain bike lenses here, the Prism Trails. So in my left hand here, you've got the jaw breakers with the originals, they're a bit more bluey. In my right hand, I've got the flight jackets with the Trail Torch, the brand new one. You see a little bit more sort of ready tint to them. Oakley have designed these to be a little bit more balanced, a little bit less punchy, so they work well under the trees like we've got here and out in the sunlight. It's definitely worth considering having spare lenses for, you know, eventually when they get a bit scratched, but also to have spare lenses for different conditions. So if you live somewhere like the UK where most of winter is too drab and dark to actually wear tinted lenses, then a good set of clear lenses will do the trick. Also, you might even consider buying a set of uh, lenses for riding on the road. So with Oakley, you can buy that road prism if you wish. So it's easy to get a pair of sunglasses that will suit both mountain biking and roads. Would you then go so far as considering the aerodynamics of the glasses? Well, I wouldn't, but Oakley do, and you might want to if you're a very serious <coughs> nerdy mountain biker, or more likely, closet roadie. Back to the size of the glasses, smaller frame glasses like this uh, Radar EV will offer better ventilation, so potentially better in hot conditions, but also when things start to get wet and slow and that dreaded steam starts to happen. Some other glasses offer different ways of trying to get around that. There are different ways that manufacturers design their anti-fogging abilities from uh, specific coatings on the lenses to actually design features. So on the jawbreaker, you can see there's actually vents in the lenses, bottom and top. Uh, also over on the flight jacket, you've got that sort of frameless top there, so steam can rise out of there nice and easily. And this clever little feature, I've not seen this one before, see how the nose piece moves back, move the glasses further away from your face to give you a bit more ventilation. What about goggles? Well, I've already said what they're really good for. Downhill, enduro, sort of more extreme types of riding. Uh, but also some of the same considerations need to come into account, like do they fit inside your full face helmet? Uh, lenses, you'll have probably lots of options actually on uh, clear to tinted. So same, different types of riding conditions will suit different lenses. Uh, a question I've heard before is do ski goggles work for riding your mountain bike? Uh, whilst they look very similar, there will be a few small but quite important differences. That does come down to things like the foam. On a ski goggle, it's likely to be fleece backed for keeping you warm. Uh, on a mountain bike or motocross goggle, it's more like a sort of cool max foam there, designed for ventilation to keep you cool. Also with lenses, you'll like to get mirrored lenses on ski goggles and it's just give you a different visual dynamics compared to a mountain bike goggle. What about goggles with an open face helmet? Well, yes, some riders like the feel of extra protection. Uh, maybe not on a cross country ride, you will overheat, but for some shuttle assisted riding, why not, it's another good option. Other considerations to research before making a purchase, well, price is obviously a big one. Uh, the more expensive, the more premium materials are gonna be used, the more features, the more technology, the lower the price, less of that. Also think about the actual protection they offer, so have those lenses been tested? Are they safe to wear? What about the amount of different lenses you can get for those glasses for replacements, but also for options like premium lenses, clear ones, different riding conditions. Uh, what about fit? Uh, some glasses will offer different types of fit like Asia fit, also the adjustability of the temple length with those arms. Finally, what do you get with your glasses? Do you get a nice little hard case to keep glasses safe and a pouch that doubles up as a lens wipe? Because probably your glasses get damaged more in your gear bag than they do out on the trail. Right, if you want to see a couple more uh, videos from Oakley with GMBN, then over there for GMBN meets Greg Minar, a factory sponsored rider, has been for years and years. And if you want to see a factory tour, Cy Richardson takes you around that place, uh, the crazy place in Southern California, click over there. Give the video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button.